Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I want to share with you my time-lapse data workflow from the moment I start shooting to the moment I archive it. So, what, what was that? Oh, hey, what the? Hey, what's going on? Sorry for interruption. So, just want to let you know, I finally decided to get up and running my Patreon page. So if you want to support my channel and the work I do, go to the link up here or down in the description or at the end of the video. Hey, wait a second, I'm almost done. On the Patreon page, I will do a monthly Q&A and uh, recording from start to finish my editing process uh, on the time lapse. I think I'll do it like four a month so you can see everything I do while processing uh, any time lapse I'm making that month. And then you're gonna have a 24 hour early access to all my content, video, tutorial, vlog, everything. So yeah, that's it. I'm done. See ya. All right, sorry, didn't expect that. All right, so where was I? So first of all, something I need to get very clear. If you have one copy only, then you don't have anything because hard drive failing all the time. So please, please back up your sh <laughs> Back when I started shooting time lapse in 2010, I didn't have a clue how to manage manage footage or backups and data workflow. And so as you might doing now, you are just, you no. Know, I was ch searching on uh, YouTube and internet to find the perfect solution. At the time, there wasn't many video on data management and definitely there wasn't any on timeline specifically. So what I did, I took some ideas from different video and put together a system based on my needs. So here we go, my workflow changes a bit depending where I'm shooting from, if I'm home or I'm abroad. When a client sends me somewhere that is not the city where I live, I bring with me my laptop with lots of 128 gigabytes SD card and then six hard drives, two GTEC EV of two terabyte and two of one terabyte, and also two two terabyte Western Digital Passport. As I'm shooting with Sony, I use two cards, and the second one is a backup of the first one. So if something happened to the first one, then I have a, a safe backup on the other one. At the end of the day, I will take all the SD card and offload all the raw files through Lightroom. Ah, of course, when I'm shooting, Every time I make a time lapse, I create a new folder. So when I get back to the computer, everything is separate on folder and, and I don't have to look in for the first and the last uh, picture or every time lapse, otherwise it takes me ages. When everything is transferred to the hard drive, I will rename the folders by year, month, day and location. And once it's done, I'll make the exact copy on the second hard drive using carbon clone copy, which is a software that helps me reduce file corruption and make me feel safe during those backups. So now that I have two copies, one comes always with me and the other one stay at the hotel. So if something happened to me, I go the one at the hotel and then if something happened at the hotel, I go one with me. So everything's saved all the time. And of course, it's the same when I fly back home. One hard drive stayed with me all the time and one hard drive goes down in the, with the luggage. I format only one SD card that comes with me the next day and the second one I will put it back on the card holder upside down so I know I don't have to touch it. When the shoot is done and I come back to my studio and start editing, I normally use three hard drives. The first one is the GTEC EV dock where I put all my drive from the shoot and transfer from the drives to the main hard drive which is the GTEC RAID. Once everything's in place, I will back up everything to the G drive, which is the third hard drive, and then start editing. And normally when I'm editing a carbon clone copy, it will do a backup of everything every four hours. And only when the final video is uh, delivered to the client, I will format the portable hard drive for the next project. Now that everything is done, it's time to archive. And to archive, I use two internal hard drives. Normally is the Western Digital 4 terabyte or 6 terabyte depends. Then I transfer my work on one of them and then do the exact copy with the carbon clone copy and then store it into different location if it's possible. I also make a third backup of only the videos, not the raw file, on my Western Digital My Cloud so I can get access wherever I want to those videos. If instead I'm shooting where I live, 
I will normally tra transfer the SD card every day to the main hard drive and then basically the rest will be the same. And basically that's it, this is how I manage every time lapse I shoot. I hope this video was helpful and uh, made a little bit more clear time lapse data management for you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao ciao!